In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a jump and falling mechanic with animations in Unreal Engine 5. This tutorial will be super straightforward, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. To start, go to the Contents browser and locate your Inputs folder. Right-click, go to Input and select Input Action. Call this IA underscore Jump. Open this and check that the value type is set to Digital Bool. Save and close it. Go back to the Contents browser and open your input mapping context. Click the plus to add a new input action, then go to the drop down and select the one you just made. Click the keyboard icon, then press the space key to assign it to that input. Save and close it. Next, go back to the Contents browser, locate your character blueprint, and open it. In some empty space, right-click and add your jump input to the graph. Drag off started and search for jump and add it. Then drag off cancelled and add a stop jumping node. Connect it to completed. Click on character movement and go to the details panel. Under Jumping and Falling, you can customize values such as Jump Velocity and Air Control to your liking. Compile and save, then close the character blueprint. Go to the Contents browser and locate your animation blueprint. Open it. In the Event Graph, you should already have something that looks like this. If not, I will quickly show you how to set it up. Move this event out of the way. Right-click and add an Event Begin Play. Drag off the Try Get Pawn Owner Return value and search Cast 2 BP underscore Base Character. Then right-click on the pin and promote it to a variable. This will store a reference to our base character. Next, add the variable we just made to the graph. Drag off it and add an Is Valid node. Drag off the variable again and get the character's movement. Drag off from the character's movement to get the player's velocity. From this, get the vector length xy. Right click the return value pin and promote this to a variable. Call it speed. Connect everything up and organize the nodes. Once you have this, right click on the velocity pin and promote it to a variable. Connect this after the is valid. Then drag off on the character movement pin and search for is falling. Add this, then right click on the pin and promote it to a variable. Call this is falling. Connect this to the end. Compile and save, then go to the animation graph. Open the state machine, then drag off the base movement animation and add a new state. Call this jump. Open the transition rule and add is falling to the graph. Drag off and add an and Boolean. Connect this to the result, then get the velocity variable. Right click on the pin and split the structure. Drag off the Z value and add a greater than. Connect this then go back. Open the jump state and search for your jump animation in the asset browser. Drag it in, then connect it to the result. Go back and drag off to add a new state. Call this falling. Open the transition rule and search for get relevant anim time remaining fraction for the jump animation. Drag off it and get a less than. Set the value to 0.2 and connect it to the result. 
This will cause the transition to occur once there is only 20% left of the jump animation. Go back and open the falling state. In the Asset Browser, search for your falling animation. Drag it in and connect it to the result pin. Scroll down on the Details panel and enable Loop Animation. Go back, drag off the falling state and add another one. Call this Land. Open the transition rule and drag in is falling. Drag off and add a knot bool. Then get a and boolean. Connect it to the result, then drag in the velocity variable. Split the pin structure, then drag off the Z value to get a less than or equal to. Then connect it and go back. Open the land state and search for your land animation. Drag it in and connect it to the result. Go back and connect the state to the base movement state. Open the transition rule, right click and add A. Get relevant anim time remaining fraction for the land animation. Drag off and get a less than. Set the value to 0.2 and connect it to the result. Go back and connect the base state to the falling state. Open the transition rule and add is falling to the graph. Drag off and get a and boolean. Connect it, then add the velocity variable to the graph. Split the pin structure, then drag off the Z value to get a less than or equal to. Connect it, then go back. Compile and save, then open the viewport and press play. Now, your jump animations should be working. There is one problem, however, which occurs when you jump again too quickly, which causes the animations to overlap. There is a quick fix for this, which I will show you now. Locate your character blueprint and open it. Add a variable and call it is jumping. Right click on the graph and add an event on jumped. Drag in the variable. Connect it to the event and set it to true. Right click again and add a event on landed. Drag in the variable, then drag off the event to get a delay node. I am setting the duration to 0.8, however this may vary, depending on your animations. Next, go up to your jump input functionality and move the jump node to the side. Add a branch, then connect the is jumping variable to the condition. Connect it to Triggered, then connect the False to the Jump node. Compile and save, then open the viewport and press play. Now you should have a fully functioning jump mechanic with animations. Also, the character will go straight into the fall animation when walking off a ledge. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel as it helps me out a lot. If you would like to support me in making these tutorials, please take a look at my Patreon linked in the description. If you have any questions about this tutorial or suggestions on ones I should make in the future, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.